What is up ladies and gentlemen? It is early morning and I'm going to show you guys a little trick if you didn't know about it. This is something that you can do to increase your farming, at least boss hunt farming and CES farming by threefold essentially. <laughs> so anti-soul link is a scroll that is used to deactivate the soul link, right? However, with the common bank scroll that is easily bought in, in the scroll shop. Let's see if I can make it over there without <laughs> without dying on this computer. Um, man, I love this glow. I just, I just love it. Anyways, in the scroll shop, I mean, everybody probably already knows this, and if you don't, why don't you do this? Make three characters, and I'll, I'll invite some strategy to this in a second, but if you got three characters and use a common bank, you got three banks, so why not just do that, you know? But anyways, if you be strategic about this... Now, there's another thing with couples, alright? If you have two different accounts for six characters, you can be very efficient if you use one account just for female, one account just for males. So there's three females, three males, and with that... Oh, gosh. Let's see if we can get this guy. Oh, never mind. <laughs> um... So if you do it strategically, you can, across two of your accounts, dual log, and then make three couples, you know, out of your six characters. Holy camoly. <laughs> Excuse me. So, with that, you'll have three female, three male, and... No, sorry, sir. Um, at that point, it is most efficient for you to start farming. A lot of times, you know, for me, I'm doing... I have two Seraphs and an Arcanist on one account, on this account, and then three Slayers on a different account. And the reason I have three Slayers and two Seraphs is because, personally, I don't want to be farming three three CS runs, three Cove, Cove, Cove runs with my Seraph, because I'm not very fast with boss hunting, so I, I just farm CES with my Seraphs at this point. Um, so I just have two Seraphs and an Arcanist, and then on my other one, I have three BC Farmers as a Slayer, right? And you can transfer all of your gear through the common bank system, all right? If you didn't know where that's that's where I was going, that's where I was going, all right? This is kind of like a little trick that I think everybody knows about. Um, well, I don't know if everybody knows about it. That's why I'm making this video. Um, but it's, I think, you know, like the the, the big boys up in the, the Insanity of Life um, staff positions. I'm pretty sure they know this. I mean, this is like probably common knowledge to them, so I'm not assuming I don't think this is something that's going to get you in trouble or anything but anyways you have three banks to choose from when you want to put your 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 soul linked things in it in in whatever you know and you can go onto your other character and have a common bank as well and transfer all of your gear to that character <coughs> so technically soul link can be avoided by three people okay unless you want to use a soul link anti soul link scroll right so, essentially, you can, like on a BC farmer, for example, with my Slayer, I have three different Slayers, all level 300, all ready to go for BC farming. I have all of their inventory stacked up in the same way to, you know, make it easy for just transferring. And what I do is I keep one of my banks very cleanly open with just like one line of items, and then the rest open so that I can just easily transfer all my gear into one bank, and then go into another character and grab all the gear out, and join a party and then boom you don't have to wait for the boss hunt timers and now if you have three in particular with boss hunts um, if you have three characters boss hunting you can usually like most of the co the cooldowns end after two hours most of them are you know after one but entirely a lot of them get done after two hours so you can actually get like three boss hunt rounds done in about an hour and a half very quickly or most of the time in under two hours right overall average so if you really wanted to you could be BC farming damn near all day if you if you if you really wanted to with the same gear for three different characters and this is what a lot of people do if you never knew about it you can farm BC a lot faster if you have three characters right and it's not just BC these things sell right a hundred of these will sell for 70 mil 70 parent I mean 70 mil each but 70 pair in total. That's a lot, and they add up pretty darn quickly. So BC, ICABs, you can farm up some parents pretty quickly if you max out your drop rate and go 
slay some bosses over and over and over again. See, and this guy might be doing it. <laughs> iPhone. iPhone 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I don't know. <laughs> That's a nice dragon right there. I have one as well. It was the other day I was messing around with this guy. With the dragons. Uh, anyways, yes, if you don't know about this common bank trick, you got to try it out. Because you can increase your your drops by threefold essentially given that the timer is reset you know after a while you need to do something during that that timer cooldown <clears throat> so hmm i think that's it yes it is <laughs> if you found this video helpful give it a like you know if you're new here subscribe i'm streaming in sanity Life games pretty pretty regularly all right not games i mean i'm, I'm streaming stuff pretty regularly and uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And peace out.